Welcome to Geology Watch. In the vast, frozen expanse of the Arctic lies a colossal sheet of ice so immense it defies comprehension. This is Greenland, a remote island dominion whose icy heart holds secrets dating back hundreds of thousands of years. For millennia, its massive ice sheet, in some places over 1.8 miles or 3 kilometers thick, has stood as a silent white sentinel, shaping global climate and sea levels. But now, that sentinel is beginning to stir. As global temperatures rise at an unprecedented rate, this gargantuan reservoir of frozen water is melting. And in doing so, it's pulling back a curtain on a world that has been hidden from human eyes for eons. This isn't just a story about melting ice. It's a story of discovery. Beneath the crushing weight of the Greenland ice sheet, scientists are uncovering a completely unknown landscape, a hidden world of ancient valleys, towering mountain ranges, and vast ghostly river basins that once flowed under a warmer sun. This lost topography, a ghost of Greenland's past, is now re-emerging, and what it tells us challenges our understanding of the island's history and contains critical warnings about its future. What we are witnessing is not merely the retreat of a glacier. It is the revelation of a lost continent, and its reawakening has profound implications for every coastline on Earth. The Greenland ice sheet is a remnant of the last ice age, a monolithic structure containing enough water to raise global sea levels by a staggering 24 feet or 7.4 meters. For decades, scientists studied its surface, drilling ice cores to read the atmospheric history trapped within its layers. But the world beneath the ice remains the central question that has puzzled geologists for decades is whether Greenland's ice sheet has been a permanent fixture, surviving through warmer interglacial periods, or if it has melted away completely in the distant past. The answer to this question is critical, because if it has melted before under natural warming conditions, it can certainly do so again under the accelerated warming we are causing today. The evidence now emerging from beneath the ice is providing a disturbing answer. Recently, analysis of sediment recovered from the very bottom of a mile-deep ice core drilled in the 1990s revealed something astonishing. Within the frozen mud were the remnants of ancient plants, twigs, leaves, and fossilized vegetation, suggesting that within the last million years, and perhaps as recently as 400,000 years ago, this part of Greenland was an ice-free boreal forest. This wasn't a barren tundra, it was a vibrant landscape, possibly covered in spruce and pine trees, buzzing with insects. This finding shatters the long-held belief that central Greenland has been continuously frozen for millions of years. It proves that the ice sheet is not invincible, it is a dynamic system that can, and has, collapsed. What makes this discovery so alarming is the context. The period when this forest likely existed was a time of moderate natural warming, with temperatures not much higher than what we are projected to reach by the end of this century. This suggests that the Greenland ice sheet has a tipping point, a threshold of warming beyond which its collapse becomes irreversible. The hidden world being uncovered is not just a geological curiosity, it is a postcard from the past, showing us exactly what Greenland looks like without its ice, and it serves as a stark warning of the world we are creating. But the revelations do not stop with fossilized forests. The melt is also exposing the sheer scale of the geological features that have been hidden. As the ice recedes, we are mapping vast interconnected lake systems and river networks that exist under the ice. These subglacial plumbing systems act as a lubricant, allowing the ice above to slide faster towards the ocean. The more meltwater that pours down through cracks and malins, the more this system is supercharged, accelerating the ice sheet's demise in a dangerous feedback loop. One of the most dramatic features of this hidden world is the subglacial mountain ranges. These are not small hills, but formidable peaks and ridges, some rivaling the Alps in scale, that have been sculpted and buried by ice. These mountains play a crucial role in steering the flow of ice, creating channels for fast-flowing ice streams that act as conveyor belts, dumping trillions of tons of ice into the sea. 
Understanding the exact topography of this hidden landscape is therefore not an academic exercise. It is absolutely essential for accurately predicting the future rate of sea level rise. Our current models are constantly being updated with this new data, and each new discovery seems to indicate that our previous estimates were too conservative. The re-emergence of this lost world also carries geopolitical and economic consequences. As the ice melts, it is exposing vast deposits of minerals, from iron and titanium to gold and rare earth elements. This has triggered a modern-day gold rush, a geopolitical scramble for resources in a region that was once inaccessible. The uncovering of Greenland's hidden geology could transform its economy, but it also threatens to turn this fragile, emerging landscape into an industrial zone creating a new set of environmental challenges. The world that is being born from the ice is already facing the threats of the world that caused it to melt. The most frightening aspect of this great uncovering is what it means for our immediate future. The processes at play are not linear. They are exponential. As darker rock and soil are exposed, they absorb more of the sun's energy than the reflective white ice creating localized hotspots that accelerate melting even further, a phenomenon known as the albedo effect. Each ancient valley and mountain range that emerges from its icy tomb becomes another engine for the ice sheet's destruction. We now understand that the stability of the entire Greenland ice sheet may hinge on its edges. Many of its largest glaciers, which act as stoppers holding back the vast interior ice, are grounded on bedrock that is below sea level. As warmer ocean water eats away at these glaciers from below, they are becoming destabilized at an alarming rate. If one of these critical glaciers were to collapse, it could trigger a cascade of unstoppable retreat, uncorking the vast reservoir of ice behind it. The hidden topography, the deep fjords and valleys that we are now mapping, determines exactly how vulnerable these glaciers are. The truth we are uncovering is that the Greenland ice sheet is far more sensitive and unstable than our models once suggested. The hidden world beneath it is not a static foundation, it is an active and dangerous variable in the equation of our planet's future. The ancient rivers that once carved its canyons are being reborn as torrents of meltwater, lubricating the ice sheet's slide into the sea. The fossilized plants tell us that collapse is not a theoretical possibility, but a documented event in Earth's recent history. We are, in effect, witnessing the prologue to a dramatic global event written in the language of geology. The silent, frozen giant of the North is waking up and the lost world it is revealing is a direct reflection of the world we are about to create.